Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning in to another Rena K YouTube video. I am back with Simon Hurley. Oh yeah. And I know it's two videos in a row, but we are so <laughs> excited to keep crafting with each other. And today we actually have two sets that are brand new to the Gina K and ThermoWeb stamp and stencil system. One is for autumn and Thanksgiving type greetings, and the other one is a holiday Christmas type set. So we're both gonna be using both of them so you can see what they can do, and we're all also just going to be talking and just relaxing after our first week of school mm -hmm. because we haven't been able to craft this week that much and yeah. I definitely need to and I'm more excited to do it with you. Oh, so yeah. and school is stressful so this will be a lot of fun. Too. Yeah it, it kind of hit me real hard this yeah. week how much work I have to do so I need to take my mind <laughs> off things. Also my 22nd birthday was yesterday and I just need to do something relaxing <laughs> and birthday. it's over now so I don't matter again yeah we're just gonna show you guys our finished cards and then head on over to Simon's channel after you're done with this video because we filmed a more relaxed kind of podcast like video which is going to be available on his channel and we're eventually going to have them available for audio downloads so that's really exciting we i'm talk so excited about it and we're going to have videos on both of our channels so he'll be like switching off so you'll see one on rena's and one on mine and we'll have playlists and stuff like that so you can listen to them and watch them all slowly through which is really cool so more goodness mm -hmm. from your favorite stamping toddlers so <laughs> yes make sure you subscribe and check out his video after this one and yeah, let's get into it. Let's get started. So right here is the Autumn Wishes stamp set. As you can see, there are trees and leaves and um, just a few fun fall greetings. And then over here, it comes with the stencil where you can either glitz, deco foil transfer gel, or stencil, or do whatever you want to make the leaves appear on your paper. And you can also do it with the veins of the leaves over the stamps. So along with the stencils, these stamp sets both have dies that you can use with both of these stamp sets for the bigger images. And we they don't come together, we just have them on the same sheet. And then I'm gonna be using the Wishing You Joy stamp set. This one's so much fun. It's got a couple kind of layering images. Um, you got this cool flower up here and then some really fun greetings along with it. So I love these kind of more solid images. Mm -hmm. And then the stencil goes along with it really nicely. And you can use these to kind of layer things up as well. And then you got that really cool background in there as well as some little details you can add in the set as well. So this is super cool. The stencil and stamp set versatility I think is really awesome. Mm -hmm. And we both used the other stamp set in Simon's video. So I used the holiday one and he used the autumn one. So it's going to be fun changing things up. As you can see, my inks stained this <laughs> one. So my bad. But um, yeah, we can just get into it, Let's I guess. Get started. I think I'm going to do a border with the leaves. And then I'm gonna do a tree like kind of off to the side. Nice. So I'm gonna grab this big flower stamp. I really love this one. It's nice and solid. And I'm gonna go in here. I'll use a little bit of bee sting in here. So this is my Simon Hurley Create inks. I'm just gonna go on here and stamp down this big flower. And Mishi's off to the side getting into a little bit of trouble. Mishi's over there. In, on set just <laughs> exploring right now all the stamp products. So don't so mind if you hear little noises or me yelling. <laughs> So I've just stamped that flower down, and then I think this layering image is right here. I'm going to stamp it using the Gina K Cherry Red Premium Ink. So this is just going to layer up really nicely on there. And I love that you can use both lines of inks to layer things up really mm -hmm. well. So school started. Oh yeah. I was supposed to be a senior this year, but unfortunately my credits, some of them did not transfer. And uh, now I have an extra year at school. I literally went into my counselor and she was like, yeah, so you're looking at about two and a half more years. And oh I was my like, gosh. I thought I was going to order my graduation gown today. <laughs> like, <laughs> but guess not. But, you know, whatever. Yeah. It's okay. I enjoy school. That's good, it's nice yeah. now that I'm not in swim and I don't like, I'm not like too tired to do everything. Like I just got all my like planners nice. and uh, notebooks and uh, pencils and stuff. So I love office supplies. I like oh, me too, yeah. office supplies. It makes me so happy in a way I can't understand. <laughs> They're so awesome. And I'm starting my senior year of a high school this year. Um, which is fun. I'm ready to be done. I'm like ready to get out now, which mm -hmm. is exciting. Um, There's an end in sight. Yeah, very near, which I'm excited about. And I didn't, in fact, buy a lot of office supplies. I literally bought like five notebooks. And I think once you get to the end, you're like just done. I don't even want any supplies anymore. Yeah. <laughs> you just like, like senior year, I felt like I like would show up, senior year of high school, like 
I met my freshman year, I had like matching binders mm-hmm. and matching notebooks and matching outfit to all, everything. And then my senior year of high school, I think I just showed up with like a pencil yeah. that I took from one of my friends. Exactly. And then just like hoped for the best. Can I use bee sting? Yeah, definitely. Yes. Here's all, I'll just bring them all over. Yep, we're using our inks again. I don't know if I've used any Electro Pop for this. I feel like it's hard to use the neons with Autumn, but I'm using some of Simon's. This is his bee sting ink. So I went in with a little bit of overzealous for the lightest color, and then I went in for later gator for this darker layer. I think that looks so awesome with the layering in there. Oh, wow, that's so nice. Oh, and then I think this image, I think it goes in the center. I'm gonna do that, in the center of the flower. Oh, yeah. Making these leaves red and yellow, because <laughs> it is oh, that's cool. shortly into September, and <laughs> it's already fall outside. Yeah. It's crazy, because, like, my birthday was this weekend, if I haven't mentioned that before. <laughs> and um, I always, my birthday was always, like, the first week of school and, like, the first day of classes. So it's hard to, like, sometimes look forward to it because it's always, like, the beginning of school and it, yeah. there's no end in sight. But it's also, like, a good, like, start to everything, I guess. Oh, my gosh. My birthday's more near to the end of school. So it's exciting. It's, like, right oh, when, yeah, that's even right more when fun. you get out. That's, yeah. like, Alicia's. Alicia's is June 13th. So it's That's like awesome. right as school gets out. That is so cool. I love how you masked that section off mm-hmm. so you're able to create like a background but have it be one layer still, which I think yeah. is really cool. I put my tape on my pant leg and like <laughs> picked up some fuzz just because I know the tape's really soft, but sometimes if you're pressing or like stenciling yeah. on it, it can still make it like kind of rip. So if you just like stick it on your clothes or something, it'll just make it a lot safer. Yeah, stick it on your clothes and pray. <laughs> <laughs> just hope for the best. Yeah, I haven't used pattern paper in a, this might be controversial, but I don't like <laughs> pattern paper because like I find that, okay, I find that if I buy pattern paper, it number one doesn't usually get used. But also I think now with all the cool stamps and inks on the market, I feel like it's, it feels more handmade when you're able to like make your own pattern paper and be proud of like mm-hmm. the the pattern paper you created, which I think is so cool. And it's so easy to like cover space. Mm-hmm. It's easy to like use all the stamps in like the thing. Yeah, and then you're not. I just like I I always just like forget about some, and I'm like yeah. I don't know where I'm gonna use this. Some of the smaller images you kind of forget about otherwise. Mm-hmm. Okay. And it's like a good way to, like use the stuff because then you're not afraid to use your background. Yeah. Where like if you were using just pattern paper, you might be afraid, but you can always make it again if you have stamps, you know. I always go into stamping nervous. <laughs> I always am just like, oh, God, like, can I just look at them? I yeah. feel like a lot of people do that. We just yeah. get the stamps and then we just look at them and then we're like, nah, Keep them in I can't your collection. <laughs> I just need these to look pretty. Yeah, when I was little, I would save up like every penny from like Christmas and birthdays and things like that. And I would get like one stamp set, but I think it's so cool that your that stamps like never go bad. So yeah. you're able to use that stamp over and over and I would. I would use it until it's like all the stamps were dark black because of all the ink that you put on it. <laughs> it's and like eroded. Yeah. But it was really cool to be able to like use them over and over and really create a ton of cards with it, which I think was awesome. My die cut machine is still a little damaged from me <laughs> launching the plate. the plate. Yeah. I did I not expect to do that, but got yeeted across there. <laughs> I know I saw that, that too. I laughed. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, I'm gonna use honey mustard with this because that's my card base. Ooh, it's always so satisfying when you pull the dies out and you get a nice little border around it. I love that. Must be nice. <laughs> <laughs> I only have a border on like one side sometimes. <laughs> yeah, sometimes if they shift a little too, but that's what, I love that tape too. This oh, tape yeah. is a game changer. So now that I'm back in school and need to be productive, I've been watching a lot of TV mm-hmm. and uh, distracting myself. And I haven't watched like a lot of TV since I was little, just because mm-hmm. there's like Netflix and Hulu and stuff. Yeah. But what what was your like like run home to watch the episode show? My okay, my go to TV show when I was little was Di- okay Disney Channel. But okay. then there was like there was so many good ones back when we were little. Yeah, I apologize to the kids now because it's like they're not nearly as good. But I feel like everyone says that about their own generation, though, but <laughs> true. it's true. <laughs> it's true. Um, Wizards of Waverly Place was, like, my favorite. I watched Love every that. season or every episode, like, six times, which mm-hmm. is a little bit a little bit overkill. There was, like, Sweet Life of Zach and Cody, too. Yes, so I watched much that. Fun. I really, really, really was into SpongeBob. Oh, I nice. still quote SpongeBob, <laughs> and, like, it's an immediate connection with people. Mm-hmm. I made I made a comment the other day where I was just like, 
You know where Patrick's like, we're not cavemen, we have technology. <laughs> like my friends and I were walking on the side of the road and not on the sidewalk. Oh I don't gosh. know why, but that's what we were doing. And I was like, guys, we have technology. <laughs> and nobody got it and I just cried by myself. <laughs> I was like, no, you guys were supposed to laugh. Stamping all the veins of my leaves with um, faded brick. This is my faded brick. Nice. Leaves. I'm gonna go in here with the picket front fence brush and I'm just gonna use a large brush because I wanna cover lots of surface area with this. And I'm just trying to make a background um, for that flower to sit on. So I'm gonna use those snowflakes and I'm just gonna go from the center out so that I get like a nice dark center. And then I want it to kind of fade out into almost nothing. That way we have a nice like grounding point for the flower. I always do this with, like if I'm putting an image over top, I usually center the ink in like a focal point and make it go out. I'm just Good using tips. faded brick on this vein, but I don't Oh, know. that looks so awesome. Yeah, it's, it's not bad. <laughs> Sometimes I stamp and I'm just like, why did you do that, Rena? I love that, that background that you're creating though. I think that's so cool. Yeah, I feel like there's a little bit of too, like I should have put the leaf more <laughs> like there, but you know, I can't go back at this point. But yeah, I love like the falling leaf mm -hmm. look. I love stepping on crunchy leaves. <laughs> like I will go, I will like jump on them. Sometimes the only thing that gives me joy while school is going on. <laughs> there's a point where oh, like there's like a nice. week I feel like where it goes from beautiful reds and yellows all yeah. over the trees to bare it goes and gray. Quick. <laughs> like it's just gone in a second. I mean, she's definitely I mean, she's definitely not ready for the um, upcoming winter season. When we were in he Minnesota last it. year, it was during the polar vo vortex and it was his oh first gosh. winter. He was so upset every day going outside and the snow was like taller than him. So he'd just have to like be on the sidewalk for most of the time and I'd have to like dig out a path for him. Oh, that's adorable. Yeah, my dogs did not like that either. The polar vortex was not, they were not a fan of it. They would run out. I did not like that yeah, myself. Yeah, oh my gosh, it was I don't awful. think there was one person that enjoyed the polar vortex. They had their little boots on every yeah. day. For these veins, I used warm cocoa to make the color. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a blending brush and like make this like kind of like a mustardy yellow on the side, like over all the colors. So I think I'm gonna use, should I use prickly pear or sweet corn? Hmm. Ooh, I like or that color. Or should I use both? I think prickly pear is really cool. Okay, That's like used... one of my favorite colors. Okay, yes, I'll do that then. So I'm just using my Picket Fence Studio brushes and I am going to just go over all this to make it look a little more muted and like, ooh, I like how that Look, looks. that is so fun. So that is I so took pretty. the stencil and I did it one way with blue and then I kind of flipped it or kind of moved it around a little bit. And I love doing that with stencils to shift it around and create that cool background. So I think that looks pretty cool. That looks so cool. And especially, it might be a little bit too busy for my flower. I don't know, what do you think? I think it might be a little too busy for that. No, no, you that like looks it? so good. Okay. I'll don't you ever like doubt this. yourself, Simon. <laughs> and then I'm gonna add leaves around it. So this is a really fun card, but I think Gina would be proud of the stencil shifting. I think it adds a little, a fun little touch to the card. <laughs> WWGD, what would Gina do? <laughs> what would Gina K do? <laughs> Thanksgiving is coming up mm -hmm. and um, my mom is getting hand surgery a day before Thanksgiving, which means I am in charge of the cooking, <laughs> which means I will be in the kitchen while my mother's icing her wrist, oh my gosh, you're coaching me <laughs> to make this turkey. You have to like vlog it for us, make yeah. us a nice little video about it. I want her to be like in like a sweatsuit, oh, like yeah. have a whistle, <laughs> like to make sure I don't like mess anything That's up. That's hilarious. Oh, look at this. That looks so... Oh my I God. love I that. I wish I made that card. I love that. Well, I <laughs> That's like amazing. Yours. We always like each other's more. <laughs> I have this pre-cut piece of paper that I'm just trying to use all the paper on it. And I think we're going to use this big tree right here. And I kind of want to use a misty for this. I'm a little nervous. When in so doubt, misty, misty it out. <laughs> I have a shirt that says, thank God I had a Misty. Because the <laughs> amount of times I've said that to myself where I'm yeah. just like, oh my gosh. yes. It's so helpful with the stamping. My it, like, oh, go ahead. Oh, <laughs> I was like so bad at stamping before that came out. And now I just use it whenever possible because like it just helps out so much. Me too. That was one of like my like things that got me into it where mm -hmm. I was like, well, I'm not, I don't have a steady hand. Yeah. I get low blood sugar and I get shaky. Like... I can't do this. And then my mom showed me this. I was like, this is game changer. Mm -hmm. 
So I'm just taking my leaves and I popped up the flower on a foam square and then I'm just taking these leaves and putting them, just kind of sticking them underneath with a little bit of tape runner and then I'm just kind of like curling up the ends of the leaves and when you're doing this you could either do it like this or you can kind of lay them all out and see if you like it and then do it afterwards. Nice, that looks so good. I just made a mistake so oh. I'm doing it on this side. <laughs> Don't pay attention to that. It's fine. Every piece of paper has a back, mm -hmm. unless you've already messed up on the back. And then, and then there's always a garbage can <laughs> yeah. for your piece of paper. There's always a trash can. So also, because fall has started, my allergies have started. Me I have too. like such bad allergies. I just get sneezy and mm -hmm. like I can't open my eyes and oh, me too. My, I wake up and my nose is just running. So that's what this tree was making me think of too, all the... <laughs> I don't know if it's called like buckwheat or something. Yeah. But it's just horrendous right now. I have all the food allergies and the outdoor allergies. You have food allergies? Good. What allergies do you yeah. have? Yeah. I'm Were allergic to nuts. Were you the kid that nuts. couldn't get anything mm -hmm. in school? No. Exactly. Allergic to peanuts. Um, sometimes fish too. I'm not even sure. Sometimes fish? Well, to be honest, I don't even really know. I just kind of avoid it all. Um, so you're in a mood to be allergic yeah, to fish. Yeah. Just, well, I was at um, the last, no, I was out, actually just out in New Jersey. And they put fish in queso. Oh, that's kind of weird. Which I didn't know about. That would be shocking to ate me. It, and my throat like kind of started closing up, but I got a Benadryl, which is good. So I ended up living. Um, <laughs> Thank God. But then decided that fish would not be a good option for me to keep eating, um, which I've never actually had fish before that queso. So. That's so weird. Yeah. That's such a poor representation of fish. <laughs> it was the weirdest. It didn't taste bad, but I didn't like pick up a chunk of fish, thank God. I was just like dipping the chip into like the cheesy area. So it, it that wasn't- That would have been grounds for a lawsuit if you ran into an entire <laughs> chunk of fish. Yeah. I'm using your bee sting for the leaves. Nice. Just make sure they get all on there. Yes! Oh, that looks cool. Beautiful. And I'm just going to grab the trimmer, and since I was dumb and adhered the leaf beforehand, I might have to, let me try lifting up this leaf a little bit. Do a little card surgery. It never hurts anybody, except for the card maybe a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> it's weird what people mix into food. That mm -hmm. queso, that fish queso is kind of freaking it's me weird. out. It's weird, The yeah. weirdest thing I've seen, I was in my dining hall in college, and dining halls are pretty unique no matter what the food is. They're mm -hmm. always a stretch of the imagination <laughs> when it comes to food. And they had a cake, like no maple in it, nothing but bacon bits on top of it. Okay. <laughs> I wanted to call the police. I was so upset that they did that. But Yeah, that's weird. Yeah. On a cake? On a cake. Was it a chocolate cake? Vanilla? No, it was like a vanilla plain Oof. cake. That does not sound I was just like, someone needs help in the kitchen. Somebody <laughs> just forgot I what they were doing. I think the funniest part is when it's like, I bet you before that, um, they had like a potato the day before and then had extra bacon and just, let's throw it on a cake. They literally <laughs> just had to get rid of it. It's yeah. always hilarious that when that happens. It's like, the one day you'll have like one thing and the next day you'll have like a little remnant of that thing in your next food that doesn't make any mm -hmm. sense. So I'm just adhering my background down to the card base and I did it so that I actually cut down my card base just a little bit so that the top and bottom there's no border and then you have a nice red stripe down the side so it kind of lines up since that background is in the center as well. <laughs> I'm going to be using Gina K and Thermoweb foam squares. Look at that. Convenience. Oh yeah. And I'm just going to pop this up a little bit. It's my mistake on the back but it doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> in the past. Um, okay, there's black. I'm gonna do a little bit of heat embossing on my card. So I'm gonna grab the black. Do you have the little powder bag? Here we go. Oh, yes. What do you call this thing again? The dust bag. The dust bag. Technical term. <laughs> Very technical. So I'm gonna use the embossing ink and I'm just going to ink up my greeting. And then I can stamp it right down. And then I'm going to use a little bit of white embossing powder, just sprinkle it over the top. Oh, that's pretty. There we go. Yeah, I love, one of my favorite things is the sentiments. Doing black paper with white embossing I think looks good mm -hmm. every time. It's very classy. Without fail. I can't find anything. This is like, okay, at Creativation, when we're demoing. Mm -hmm. Have you, de you demoed, right? I messed up 
terribly in Thermal <laughs> Web's booth demonstrating the stamp and stencil oh, system. No. Literally, I would be like, everyone ready for the reveal? <laughs> and then I just botched it and I'd be like, well, uh, here's one that someone else made and it looks nice, so worst, don't look at me. That's the worst part. Is like, whenever we're teaching, the projects usually don't look as good as they're supposed to. Just keep that in the back of your head. And when you do like a big reveal, it's always funny if it doesn't work out. It's like, okay, that's supposed to work. Yeah, you're just like, well, work. ta-da. <laughs> <laughs> I had, um, we did Pinner's Conference. Oh, nice. Yeah, it was kind of intense because <laughs> we had to do like a class for 70 people and we had oh 12 gosh. minutes to set up, right? I, I've, I've never been so close <laughs> to death, but... Um, I had to run the make and takes there and okay. I love doing make and takes because it's not like that difficult to do. Mm -hmm. It's just you are teaching the same card for 12 hours, the same yeah. steps, same technique, same bad jokes, if you're me. And, <laughs> um, same I, jokes nobody laughs at. Yeah, and you're just like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> but... Um, yeah, I was starting to lose my mind. I couldn't, I started to like not be able to say things that weren't yeah. a part of my normal script. <laughs> and oh, it was just, it just got bad. Oh yeah, it gets bad. After like either teaching or making takes, it's a lot of fun, but you like kind of forget what you're saying. Yeah. And so afterwards it's like, okay, you just need to take a little nap. I couldn't say anything that wasn't like outside of the script. Like yeah. I just was like, die cuts, brushes, <laughs> light pressure, like everything. I just couldn't function. Yeah. I'm just fussy cutting. You guys will probably know by the end of this this whole series that Simon likes to fussy cut. So I'm fussy cutting out my sentiment here. Um, you totally don't need to do this. You could just stamp it onto a banner, but I love doing it with sentiments like this that are like a little bit scripty because then it doesn't take up a ton of space and you're able to show more of your design underneath. So if I put my sentiment down here, you can see you're able to see a little bit more of like that background that we created, which I just love. So I'm going to add this down onto my card and then I think I'm going to call it a day. <laughs> All right, so here are our finished cards. These look kind of similar. Like, mm -hmm. the writing looks really similar, but they, oh my God, I love that background. Oh, yours I love too. that you did that. It looks I, like, it looks like some weird, like, effect where it's like. It looks like you're looking through, like, the 3D glass. Yeah, yeah, it looks really cool. <laughs> With no 3D mm -hmm. in front of you. And I love, I didn't think those colors would, like, mm -hmm. that's a lot of colors yeah. that I didn't think would go well together, it's but it weird, does. It's weird, I put that cool in the background, and I didn't know how it was going to work, but I like the cool with the warm colors on top. Mm -hmm. It's such, like, a, like, modern, like, Christmas card. Mm -hmm. And yours is so cool with, I just love that you didn't, that you masked it. Mm -hmm. I just love that background, and then the ink blended the over tape. top of it, The too. less I need to stamp, the better. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Oh, you know what I said I was going to do, but I forgot? I was going to make the leaves, like, different colors. I was going to, oh, like, stamp different. Nice. Trash. <laughs> just throw it. <laughs> throw it away. <laughs> Forget about it. So that is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I love your card. I love, love you. yours too. <laughs> it's so fun crafting with you. Um, thank you all for the great comments on your last video with me and Simon. We're really enjoying our time together. Mm -hmm. And remember to check out the video on his channel that's coming out of our longer, more relaxed uh, podcast, type video. podcast type of vibe. And look at our cards there. Make sure you check us out on our Instagrams because we'll be posting our card projects that we made together in both videos. And and just updates on our new videos that are coming out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. It was so much fun crafting with you. And I always think this is like such a good time to kind of get together and craft, which we don't always usually get to do. So I think it's really cool. No, yeah. And we just get to kind of like let our minds wander mm -hmm. and just kind of vent. Like by, by December, we will both be losing <laughs> our mind with school. So this will be like will the be best good. part of our week. Mm -hmm. I mean, it already is, but like we're going to like need it to survive at mm -hmm. that point. So that's the end of the video. We need to go do our homework and have oh, no. a week of school <laughs> and then we'll be back here so thank you again oh yeah make sure you subscribe if you liked it and subscribe to simon and we'll see you guys in the next one have a great day okay bye bye